Hi everyone, this is Brett with DevNano, and today we're going to be going over lesson zero from our intro to web development course that's found on GitHub at github.com forward slash DevNano learning forward slash intro to web development. So this lesson is all about the text editor and the text editor is the tool that you are going to use to program the computer. It's the program that allows you to type in the code, save it, and then later we'll show you how to run it. So the text editor we're going to use is called Atom. It's made by GitHub. It's free. It's simple. It works on all major operating systems. And it's not just for beginners. It's really good for beginners, but it will stay with you all along your journey as a computer programmer, all the time to up until the time you are a senior level programmer. So I'm going to go through some installation instructions and the configuration instructions. So if you click on the link in the notes, to take you to atom.io, it'll take you to their page and you'll see a big red button which says download for Mac. So I'm going to download the file to my desktop and as that begins to download you'll see that the file is about 90 megabytes so depending upon the speed of your internet connection it could take a few minutes to download. Once it's completed I'm going to double click on the file which will extract the file to my desktop and if you see here you'll see two files now. One is the actual program file, the other is the zip file. Now I don't need the zip file anymore because I already have the program file, so I'm going to move that to the trash and then open up Atom. So when Atom opens, you'll see a few different things. First, you're presented with a blank document where this is where you can start to type in your code. And we'll get to that later. But before that, we want to show you a few things on how to configure Atom. So I'm going to click on Atom and go to Preferences. And then I'm going to go to Packages. And in here, I'm going to look for any package that talks about autocomplete. And we're going to turn that off or disable it. So you'll see Autocomplete Atom API, and then I'm going to hit Disable. Autocomplete CSS, Disable. Autocomplete HTML, Disable. Autocomplete Plus, Disable. Autocomplete Snippets, Disable. Auto Flow, Disable. Auto Save, we'll, we'll keep that because that's nice to auto save. And there's a bunch of other uh, plugins here. We won't talk about those yet, but the main thing is we want to disable all the things that it automatically does things for you. And the reason for that is as you're learning, we don't want it to do things that you're unaware of what it's doing. It's really important that you learn each and every step that it takes to write the code, save the code, and then run the code. So all of these different things just auto-complete code as you're typing it, and we don't want to enable those. So that's how you install Atom. The next thing you're going to need, as you'll see in the notes here, is the web browser. Now, all major operating systems come pre-installed with a web browser, but we want you to use Google Chrome. And there's a number of reasons for that which we'll go into but uh, it, you know, at a future date. But we want you to get started with this because Google Chrome has a lot of tools that enable web developers to debug their websites and understand what's going on. And it's all bundled in, so it's really convenient. So if you click on the link in the notes, you'll go to the Google Chrome homepage. You can download Chrome. This one is a little bit bigger and it takes longer to download. And the installation is a little bit different. So I'm going to save that one to my desktop as well. But you'll notice that this file that it's downloading is not a zip file, but an actual DMG file, which is a little bit different than a zip file. So when I, in a minute when it's finished downloading, when I double click on it, it will actually mount a drive on the computer that has the folder in it, and then I can copy the uh, program file off. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it's opening Google Chrome DMG. Once that's opened, it should pr uh, prompt me with a dialog to copy the Google Chrome application to my Applications folder. Now, since I already have that, uh, it's asking me if I want to keep both of them, if I want to replace the version on my computer, or if I want to stop. Uh, you shouldn't receive this dialog. I'm just going to click Stop because I already have it. I don't need to install it. But that's how you install Chrome. Now, one other thing just um, by way of reference that it's, it's pretty typical for, uh, 
for you to not keep applications on the desktop. So I'm going to open up my finder here and I'm going to drag the Atom fold file over to my applications folder here. That's it. So that's the first lesson, uh, lesson zero. Make sure that you have Atom, that you have Google Chrome, and that you can open up both of them. And uh, with that, you can go on to the next lesson.